much, um, Minister. Rakami the Rogan on Kate over Elitak and Shion Chachta, Andrea Suminachan, Agus Tastin Wig, Jisworth the Veg Marial or Servishi, Tapi Lahan Vanda, the Winter Lar Horki. Uh, Minister, I'm raising this issue because so many constituents are having huge trouble getting access to broadband right across Mid Cork. They need the broadband for to be able to work from home, for college, uh, for to run their businesses, and also for social use. Communities. Uh, I've outlined to you in relation to the blue zone where it would be expected that in those commercial areas that air would have already been rolling out broadband and the very slow pace um, and I, as I've outlined to you Heathfield uh, in phase three of construction people living there at this stage 16 months uh, air codes available since the beginning of this year and yet uh, despite the ducting being available uh, air haven't run fibre through it. Minister the there must be some so, there must be answerable somewhere because when you raise this with Comreg um, it's really just a case of oh, air have provided uh, some sop of a, an answer uh, three meg which probably will only deliver one meg and it it's not working and uh, they need to be answerable and to roll out the fibre. Uh, nearby in Columni Village, again in the blue zone, um, uh, very I mean, frustrating as well for people when the fibre is so near to their home and they don't have access, uh, especially um, if they don't have any uh, wireless option nearby. Um, people have also been raising with me about how they can't get a handle on a timeline on the plan and they're left very much in the dark waiting for the broadband. Services. Um, and even if we move into the blue um, commercial zone, Minister, there's serious issues. Um, for example, in Heathfield in Ballincollig, built at this stage with residents uh, um, almost uh, 16 months in there, and air are still not rolling out a fibre to them. Um, it doesn't make sense. You would, have, you would have expected that within the blue commercial zone that these would have been the areas that air would have quickly had the service rolled out. Uh, and you'll find every kind of an excuse from, uh, from air codes not being available to not being able to get on site and so on. Despite the fact that, for example, residents in Heathfield would have had their air codes since February last, uh, ducts have been installed as part of the construction. Builders have moved on to phase three and still that there wouldn't be fibre laid uh, people in there uh, 16 months at this stage. So, Minister, is there some way that you can raise it with AIR and with Comreg for to see if they can quickly roll out broadband in those blue areas as well as in the intervention area? Uh, because it's very, very frustrating for people who are having to, to sit so close uh, to the, the fibre uh, or not have an option, and many people in rural areas who really have no option uh, of getting broadband you, waiting for this. It's in relation to the blue commercial zone uh, providing broadband in those areas and where air seem to be very slow in rolling out fibre to those householders. Uh, what realistic expectation would householders have? Uh, how quickly would they expect to be able to get uh, fibre broadband once houses are built, for example, uh, 16 months on from moving into houses in Heathfield and Ballincollig, residents are still waiting for uh, fibre to be laid. Uh, construction has moved on to phase three, ducts are in place, but that there's no, um, at, in, uh, air codes are available since last February, but still that there wouldn't be a date set or a timeline rolled out. What kind of expectation uh, should householders have? Do you set targets with AIR? Do they meet them? Um, and are you able to, to pursue them on it uh, for to ensure that they would provide uh, fibre broadband in those blue areas uh, in a timely manner? Um, the current legislation we operate under, we're able to set targets for installation of voice lines, but not for broadband lines. So, um, so AIR meets the targets for provision of voice service in places like, like Bowling College that you're talking about. Under the new electronic communications code, which will shortly be transposed into Irish law, it will be possible to um, designate universal service providers for what's called adequate broadband. And so the issue you deal with can be dealt with under that new law when it comes into force.